You are watching a master at work. What's going on friends? I'm happy to report that the overall testing for the Def Racer Pro version is now complete. So what does this mean? New motors, new batteries, all that kind of crazy stuff? Sure thing. But we're not moving away from the Pololi motors. They're still going to be a stock option and we're not going to get rid of those. They, If you've already bought one of those, I would certainly suggest you go ahead with those. However, it was suggested early on, just as we'd released all these files, that actually the 540 motors might be better. So Michael Badley behind the scenes here has actually gone and bought these. I've now got these, I've now installed them, and we've gone through a series of tests. So the 540 motors that you see here are probably going to be the ones that we're going to be suggesting. That's not suggesting that, of course, you can't go your own route, and we would encourage that as well. Price and speed are going to be your alloy, I think, with these overall builds. And again, we've gone with branded motors again this time because we just wanted to make sure that things are going to be robust. There's lots to get through, so let's get straight on into this one. This content is sponsored by PCBWay. If you're on the hunt for hassle-free processing of your new circuitry ideas, PCBWay offers a reliable solution for all of your PCB needs. High quality at a low cost, delivered right to your door. Shipping to more than 170 countries worldwide and processing more than 3,000 PCB orders per day, PCBWay.com is the place to be. But that's not all. PCB Way also offer a number of different services including 3D printing. So just imagine having your Def Racer files being made in stainless steel. In stainless steel? Is stainless steel even a 3D printed material now? Would you like to see it? Let's get a price and see what we can order. Shall we move on? Okay, so these are the Trackstar 550 11T brushless motors and 60 amp EXE. The 540 motors are actually a staple tenth scale motor in the RC world with 11T, which refers to the number of turns. So with no load, we've got 19,800 with a torque of 2.8 G per centimeter. We then install a gearbox with a gear reduction for five to one, and that's a Lee Su planetary reduction gearbox, uh, which works out to be around about 26 pounds 99 each. The track stars come in at 29 pounds and 27 pence. So it's around about 112 pounds 52 give or take. Um, you can of course look around for similar motors and another different type of EXE, give it a go and obviously see what happens. As you can probably assume we have put these through a number of weeks of testing and um, we've had some good results out of them overall. There is a small amount of modding that you'll need to undertake to install the gearbox onto the motor. This includes removing around about 5mm of the motor bar, then tapping on the tooth gear before breaking down the bottom of the gearbox to install onto the motor. The first one of these is a little daunting, but it's not like the gearbox fell apart and it is designed for this part to be removed and fit into the motor shaft. Sam, you're talking too quick! Let's slow this down just for a second. So hardware information, let's do a learn. So you're going to need two of these motors and they come complete with your speed controller. So before you would have had the radio controlled board. So this basically replaces that completely. But of course you're going to need two of these and you're also going to need to modify your mix settings inside of your radio because on the other board that obviously had a pre-mix in it. So you could pretty much use any controller and there's a small switch and that will do what they call V-tail. Those things are kind of more for radio control cars here um, rather than planes and stuff. But these will do a very, very similar job. The only thing I did notice about these is that sometimes when you wire the motors up, you find that one might go quicker one way than it will do the other. So forward might go slightly slower and backwards might be going slightly faster. So what you need to do for that is just basically swap these two ends around. So this is the positive and negative that goes to the motor. Never swap around the power, of course, keep that positive and negative. But sometimes you might need to sort of modify these. And I did once or twice with, with, the, um, with the setups that I've been running. And this is the shaft that needs to be um, basically cut. So you can buy these things from Hobby King. 
I ordered a spare one here because I actually had a problem with um, one of the EXEs. You can go with a cheaper EXE and it still works. Um, I had no issues with the one that I bought. I'll put a link down in the description. All links, by the way, will be in the description. So don't freak out. I know that I talk too fast. I apologize for that. I'm just excited and that's just the way I am. So um, this is what we've gone with. Uh, and as I say, these are the 11 T's. And what you'll find certainly on the uh, description and on the back here, it'll tell you things like, yeah, you could get, this is the 11 turn version, but they do do up to a 20 turn version. Now, what happens with that is that the torque goes from 2800 down to 2000. So although the turns might have increased, the torque level of the motor actually goes up and down and fluctuates. So 11 turns, more torque, 20 turns, less torque. And of course, we're running these things at, I think it's 19,000 RPM out of these motors. The gearbox then reduces it and we end up with, it's just shy of 3,950 without load. So then of course, on top of that, you have the tracks that then gives you load. And then of course, on top of that, again, you obviously have gravity, friction, all that kind of other stuff that kind of gets mixed into it. So you might get away with maybe 3,200 RPM. Whereas the other ones were rated at around about 950 RPM. This is the Pololi motors. So between 950 and 1000 with no load. Obviously with load you might be getting something like 600 RPM. So either way these are going to be 4-ish times quicker than you're currently getting with the Pololi motors. But of course if you looked at the MERF footage you would have seen that actually the slowest robot of the day actually ended up winning. So speed isn't everything. And of course on top of that. These things are crazy, crazy to control. Uh, I even found that sometimes when you're going so quick that it knocks on things and the track can kind of come off or it can get caught. Um, so make sure you get your tensioning right again with uh, with the tracks and make sure you've not got too many or too little. Um, it's just putting too much on the wheels. So that's the first bit. Let's talk about the gearboxing. Okay, so these are the Lee Su aluminium single speed planetary gearbox reducers on a one to five gearbox ratio. Um, you can find these for all sorts of different prices, $31 on this particular site, but unfortunately it's sold out. Uh, this is exactly the same one that I got, and you need two of these, of course, for each of the motors. So regarding the costings, the EXE and the motor is obviously $60 plus postage. Then you've got $64, so that puts us around about $124 plus postage for the speed controller and the motors. The Cytron, which we were suggesting for the first version, is $35 plus shipping. The motors, of course, were $70 plus postage. Uh, so we're looking at around about $125. So $125, $125 is pretty much the same. And of course, if you can get a better deal or if you can get a cheaper EXE or a cheaper motor that does the same kind of torque settings, you might be on for a bit of a winner. But again, I'll put these links in the description here. And again, you may even find that a different ratio, uh, maybe a faster ratio or a slightly slower ratio might come in cheaper. But these are certainly going to be the gearboxes that we're going to be suggesting. Uh, Semi Joules RC Truck Stop. You can also find a different range of motors here. And again, like I said before, depending on the T's. So if it's an 80T, that means it'll do an 80 turn. But of course, on top of that, you've got to have a look at the torque settings and make sure that it's going to be uh, of a relatively good speed. Again, the torque settings on this is 2.8 G per centimeter. So 2,800 G per centimeter. And um, they weigh in at 165 grams. So if you can match those up, these type of motors, the, 5 motor, mo the 540 motors should match up pretty much they are pretty much the same kind of size um, but of course these ones just about fit in so hopefully that helps you out so incidentally the exe that actually blew up on me i replaced with this one which is a um, another chinese one which is called a Del We rc car exe uh, which is a 60 amp rc brushed uh, brush or brushless motor speed controller you can of course use a brushed or brushless motor we're going with brushed right now uh, but again, you know, you can kind of do it as you please. But just make sure you're matching up the torque settings. So let's talk about the file systems and show you what else has changed. Due to the increased size of the motors, fortunately, the mainframe hasn't needed to be modified. So this is exactly the same. What you'll find in the Patreon is basically two mirrored files now. The left drive gear and the right drive gear are 
exactly the same as they were so you don't need to replace that but the main frames for the motor holders and the carriages do need to be reprinted and what you'll find here is that there are a couple of new grooves for cable ties in this particular model so when we put those and install those motors inside of that we basically put two zip ties down here just to make sure that the motor sits right and doesn't move around too much um, so next on the wheel side uh, we've got wheels a and a1 that's pretty much the same, but I probably would still reprint that particular one uh, just in case there are any deviations. I can't see any in the print myself, but you definitely can start seeing some differences here. And this is one of the front wheels here because, again, you need to get that distance between the motor and the uh, to track drive system now. So that just gives it that little bit more um, overall. So, um, yeah, one of these and obviously the wheels again. Now you'll see here that the gearing is actually changed slightly on here. It's um, certainly more robust. It's a bit bulkier. So again, uh, you know, I would probably, thinking about it, probably reprint all of these parts. Now this before was flat, and you, we saw that there was a weak spot on Joel Telling's uh, robot. So we've um, we've got that updated, and then of course we've got the uh, motor frame as well. So these were taken over to the Prusa, and again, it's Polymaker filament here, PETG in this case. These are solid. There are between 10 and 15 uh, layer lines on this, on each of these prints, with a very small amount of infill. I think the infill on there was about 20%. PETG by Polymaker once again. So hopefully that's gone into some detail about how to install these particular motors into those carriages. Uh, let me know if you get any problems. Now, Speaking of Polymaker, as I just was, uh, and of course, a lot of this stuff is sponsored by Polymaker. In fact, most of the prints that I do is actually sponsored by Polymaker, so thank you very much to those guys. Um, links are always in the description below, of course. What I will say, though, is PCBWay, they have sponsored the channel, and they've sponsored me enough to afford tickets to basically go to Earth, which is the East Coast Rep Rep Festival in Bel Air in October. So I will be officially attending that over in the US. I'm super, super excited. So I was talking to Polymaker about this and I said, hey, you know what? I'm going out. We're going to do the Death Racer thing. I've spoken with the organizers of Earth as well and we've cleared the insurance and I believe everything's good to go for having a battle, having an actual proper race. So I was talking to one of the guys at Polymaker and he made a suggestion that because you guys are obviously affording filament and bits and pieces and new speed controllers and other bits and pieces, if, and this is their pledge, if you are going to the East Coast Rep Rep Festival, the Earth event, then Polymaker will sponsor your filament under two conditions. Number one, you are actually going to the East Coast Rep Rep Festival, so you probably will need to send in a ticket number. The other thing is, is one of the side plates will need to be a Polymaker logoed side plate. You can do whatever you want with it afterwards, of course. Polymaker want to show their presence is actually at, at that event. I believe a couple of the reps are coming over from Polymaker as well, which is super awesome. So that hopefully they will be there as well. The races are going to be quite interesting. Now, on top of that, there's also a sponsor for the possibility of not only winning filament, for the first, second, third, whatever races we try and do there, but also there might be 3D printers to also give away. And the talk at the moment is super, super exciting. Like, I cannot believe the possibilities that may, and I'm hoping it does, that may be offered up. And I'm super, super excited. And the people that are involved with this and sort of backing this, um, which will come to light sort of as we get a little bit closer to the event. Just awesome. Just absolutely awesome. So Polymaker are certainly going to help you save a little bit of money if you are going to the East Coast Rep Rep Festival. And hopefully you are. And hopefully you'll see you out there. And the organising of the races will be coming in the next couple of weeks. We're going to do a Capture the Flag. We're going to do a 0 to 60 race. Um, and then right at the end, that's when the carnage will then be ensued. And then we'll actually do a proper battle race in the traditional form. But what I wanted to try and achieve this time, rather than just going in and smash everything up straight away let's make sure that we actually get these races underway and actually show off what we've got so just to be clear polymaker will sponsor the build of your def racer by giving you three rolls of filament now you're obviously going to need a roll of tpu which comes in around about 750 grams but they've also asked them well what are you suggesting so they have said um what material would i suggest and my print in petg mostly um, would PLA Pro be good? And actually, when we looked at the statistics, actually PLA Pro would be pretty good. Um, it's all about the infill and the layer lines and stuff. So these are the things you can choose for. So any color that you want, Polylite PLA Pro, Polylite PETG, Polylite ASA, Polylite ABS, or Polymax PC. So 
an amazing amount of different choices there that you guys can be involved with. But the stipulations are pretty simple. One, you need to be going to that event. So you're going to need to show a ticket number and you have to put the ticket number on the, um, when we release the information, you have to put that ticket number on there. Obviously your addresses and all the rest of it will go on to that part as well. What they've asked for though is you've got to be building a deaf racer. And the other element is they would like you to also have a polymaker side plate on the side of the racer for the event. Um, and obviously you can do whatever you want with that afterwards, of course, but that's what they've asked. So if you want essentially three filament, to build one of these, it's going to be a massive cost saving exercise here. And again, thank you very much to Polymaker for doing that. Um, again, links will be in the description. I'll have the Polymaker stuff tied up in the next couple of days. As I said, I'm super, super excited about some of the possibilities here. And this thing keeps growing and getting bigger. And, you know, all of a sudden I understand that there's a Discord server now, which is over on the Polymaker site, talking about deaf racers how to do them how to build them this video i'll probably be up there shortly as well um the facebook group of course is is growing as well and i'll put all the links in the description the patreon site is growing as well so thank you for all those people that actually have bought the uh, one dollar patreon sign up um we have released a couple of new files so there's a couple of bits and pieces there that just needed tidying up which has obviously come to light in mass testing um so again thank you very much guys for um for bringing that to light um thank you for polymaker thank you for pcb way <laughs> You know we're heading out there and uh, i'm super excited and super super stoked to be able to got a, you know actually get a sponsor out there so i can fly out there and um stay with tripod and he's driving me up there and he's um you know he's a sweet guy so um thank you very much to everybody that's been involved with this up to this particular point and i'm hoping to see you at the east coast rep rep festival in october so links are in the description if you have liked this video smash a little like hit that subscribe button. There's more content coming. I promise you there is a ton of really, really cool stuff coming, including a larger size track drive system that a full size human being, me, can sit on and be propelled along by. And it's a whole kind of running thing that I'm gonna be building these different things, deal dealing with different types of robotics. And obviously, hopefully we're gonna be able to take you along for the journey as well. So happy printing. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.